Hello, it was Power here with review with the Counter Zero One DX Authorized Buster. So this is the weapon that Zero One and Vulcan, or technically Zero One, acquires when he gains Shine Hopper, but then it's also shared with Vulcan because they basically have the same power, or they're at the same like whatever. So obviously, it shows off its two modes: Axe Mode and Gun Mode. And obviously both of these forms are present, Shining Assault Hopper and Assault Wolf. Here is Vulcan with the um, gun. I don't know if it's like Buster Gun Mode or like Buster Axe Mode. But there's the bottom because I really feel like I don't show the bottom of these boxes. Um, everything you can do within these stuff. And mode, yeah, so it's axe mode and gun mode. So, this should tell you where I got it from. So, let's just get on with this because this box went through a lot of abuse while just hanging around. <laughs> so, here's the authorized buster as it falls. Um, I like, I really like, you know, its simplicity. Obviously, um, the base of it is like this navy blue and black. So you might be thinking this is like mostly Vulcan, even though it, you can say it is. I personally just like its neutral state of how it, basically it's equal within the two. Um, there's the yellow trigger. This is the slot where you're going to put the progress keys. Speaker, the eject button on off switch. Um, when you press this, it straightens this handle out, and then you press the barrel up here to flip this portion up to reveal the axe mode, which is literally a grasshopper. I cannot show it like this, sadly. Um, but, um, because obviously, I guess I'm just too lazy to back the camera up, but I really do appreciate this grasshopper. Um, it's just a neat touch. And then obviously, um, now the blue is mostly gone. So, yeah. I'm actually going to turn on at this state because tank with the main mode, or the starter mode of this is the gun mode. So, obviously just switch it on. It requires two AAA batteries, just like the, um, attach weapons. It wasn't supposed to start out like that, um, but anyways, um, transform it to gun mode. Um, basically, this thing initiates the mode change. Gun this doesn't really matter, but now we're in gun mode, so we get one singular firing sound. And that's it, because obviously the whole point of this is around this section. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to authorize a progress key. So we got Gash upon Assault Wolf. So we get this standby until we press the trigger. So I assume that's supposed to be Progrise Dust. Um, I honestly don't know the finishers for this toy. It's, I just don't understand. Uh, um, obviously the next function is to insert the Progrise key within the slot. Although I might have some issues inserting it as you can might witness. Okay, it actually did go through. So then you get a new standby when you press her. Now you get Buster Dust as the finisher when you insert the progress key. Again, to eject it, push this down. And now you get a third finisher by doing both authorizing this and inserting a progress key.
Then just press the trigger. So now you have Progrise Buster Dust as your new finisher. I'm actually surprised it's actually cooperating with me because the demo it wasn't at all. Obviously, there's more to do because if you bring out the Zero One driver, you can do another set of authorization. You get the Zero One authorized and this new standby. So there you get the zero one dust, and if we do if we do the zero one authorize again and insert a progress key. So now you have the Zero One Buster Dust, which is essentially like the like big gigantic finisher. <laughs> I don't know, it's just really fun chaining these attacks and such. However, you cannot do like Zero One Progrise Buster Dust. Like you can't chain them because essentially it's you either scan with the Progrise key or with the Zero One Driver, aka a speaker. <laughs> so now moving on, we're gonna. Do axe mode, so simply switch this and flip this over. Um, again, like gun mode, we get one single axe swing sound. And now we're gonna use Gash Pond Shine Assault Hopper because this one is Shining Hopper. You couldn't even see that. It's still the same standby. Insert the progress key. And I should state this that uh, the word like. Obviously, the words of like Progrise, Buster, and Zero One still carry over, but instead of dust, it's bumper, bumper, or bomber. I, again, I don't really know what this is saying, sadly, even though it's English. I'm gonna stick with bumper. <laughs> now zero one authorize. There we got the last finisher of this toy. So switching it back to gun mode. Let me just talk about my thoughts overall about this toy, um, because the camera wants to overheat. Um, I'm actually really happy that. Um, excuse me. For this review, this thing did not want to keep dying um, because I kept doing that in the demo. And you'll witness that. Um, I I don't remember if I actually dropped this toy. I think I did. Um, 
I keep, I don't know, I have a thing about dropping my toys and then, like, uh, this thing just started not to want to, what, what, <laughs> this thing just started not, not wanting to function when I insert the ProRise key, but, um, other than that, um, this is a really fun roleplay weapon as a whole, um, just because of the fact, like, I don't know, like, scanning and, like, inserting the ProRise key is pretty fun. While it sucks that this thing doesn't, like, you know, um, read, or it doesn't, like, have a pin set, so then, like, it can, like, activate the weapon sounds for the ProRise keys. I know these are cash spawn, but, like, you know, you can't do, like, Shining and, like, ProRise Buster or Dust and, like, that, but... Honestly, I can kind of excuse that just because of the array of like playability you have with this because each mode has like five finishers Which is just really cool So then you get a total of like ten finishers It would have been cool if you can do zero one progress bust dust or bumper, but um, you know um They don't want us to do that then it's like oh well um, I actually got this off of Amazon Japan at the time when it was, like, only 1900 So I got this for, like, $19, which is pretty worth it. Sadly, it went up in price. Now it's at, like, $23 approximately. But, um, uh, like, obviously this toy isn't, like, necessary. But I think if you just want to have some fun just playing around... And like scan progress keys, inserting them and such, then it's a pretty fun toy. Um, yes, it's relevant, and the show is kind of like down because it's pretty useless, uh, so, which kind of sucks because this honestly has to be like my favorite weapon, like my favorite non attach weapon, and I still do like it, still has some revenant remnants of it with like the switching of the modes. But I think that's a zero one thing in general. But anyways, um, yeah, I highly recommend this toy. Um, it's pretty fun. This is Power Rider, and I'll leave you people. Bye.